Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for users of Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial and probably the next one we'll be looking at working with dates and times, how to enter them, format them and how to calculate with dates. So we're going to start um, by changing some dates on this particular spreadsheet and you'll see we have a list of dates here for these movies and you'll notice that all the dates are 2010 and what I'd like to do here is very simply change them to 2011 dates so I'm going to select all those and hit the delete key get rid of those okay so the first film I'm going to have uh, let's say on the 1st of May so I'm going to simply type 1 forward slash 5 and press enter and Excel as you can see is put automatically in 01 where I type 1, it's put 05 where I type 5 and it's also put the year in which I didn't type at all so when you type in the day all you need to do is type in the day and the month and Excel will automatically put in the year providing obviously the day you had in mind uh, or the date you had in mind was this year if it's a previous year or a future year then you need to type in the year obviously for example if I type 1 forward slash 5 forward slash and I want it to be a 2012 date I would have to type in 1 2 12 and Excel will format that in its standard format now you'll notice as well because I'm in the UK I'm getting day month a year if you're in the US or somewhere else where you have a different date format um, you simply enter the date as you would normally enter it for example in the US you went into month day year and Excel will format it appropriately. So I'm going to delete that 2012 date because I don't really want that. Press delete and instead I will type in um, let's say the 10th of May and then we'll put some more in 23rd of May. Now I'm using the forward slash key so I type in 23 forward slash etc. You can also use the dash key so if I type in the date for the next one which might be the 1st of June I could type in 1 dash 6 and press enter and that formats exactly the same way as the others I just entered it a different way. The the way Excel formats dates depends on how it's been set up in the format settings which I'm going to come to in a second. I can put my last date in for now which will be the 10th of June. I'm going to type in 10. I'll use the dash again. Dash 6. Press enter. Okay. So formatting then. Let's go back and format the first date. Well actually tell you what I'll do. I'll expand column A and hopefully by now you know how to expand the columns, put the mouse pointer between A and B in this case and click and drag so we get a much wider column A and I'm going to format each of these dates in a slightly different way so you get a feel for how to present your dates in the way you want, you have more control basically. I suppose the first problem that jumps out at me is um, 01, 05, 2011, okay that's the 1st of May but what, what day is it? Is it Monday or a Wednesday or whatever now if I go to my um, Windows clock just open that up and bring that into view this is one way of finding out and if we go to May 2011 we would find that the first is a Sunday okay um, now it's a bit tedious having to do that every time you want to work out what day your film is showing on so I'd rather have Excel format it for me so I see the day as well as the date, the month, etc. So to do that, I go to the format, obviously select the cell I want to format, go to the format menu, choose cells. Now there is a date category with some predefined formats in there, as you can see, but none of those really do what I want. As you can see in that list, there's nothing there with a day on it. So I'm going to leave that and come down to the custom category, which will give me much more control. Now there are some predefined ones in here as well, as you can see if I scroll down there's hours and minutes as well there, and some days, months and years, but I'm going to create my own. So I'm going to go into this type box here, just select the entries that are in there and delete it. So if you keep an eye on the sample box here, which will display my date format as I build it up, okay, and I'm going to first of all type in a single D, which gives me the number one. Now it's 1 because it's the 1st of May is my date. If I type a second D that gives me the leading 0 so 01, 02, 03 etc. The third D gives me the short version of the day, sun, moon, 
The fourth D gives me what I want, which is the full day. So I get Sunday, Monday, etc. Okay, so four Ds for the full day, three Ds for the short version of the day, and two Ds or one D for a numeric date. So if I press space and do double D, I get 01, which is what I want for my date. Space again, and this time I want the month as a word, and type in three M's, which gives me May. Now if the month was September or August, it would say SEP or AUG, etc. So it gives me a shortened version of the month, which is fine. Space again, I'm going to type in YYY, which gives me the full year, 2011, etc. If I go back there and show you two Ys, it gives me a two-digit year. Three Ys gives me a full year. Okay, so that's the format I want. Sunday 01, May 2011. Click OK. And there it shows up on the spreadsheet. Now if I change that date, I don't have to enter it in that format. So I can simply, let's say my film was actually on the 3rd of May instead of the 1st of May. I can simply type in 3, 4 slash 5, press enter. Uh, it shows me it's the choose, Tuesday the 3rd of May and so on and so on. So the format is basically how people see it but the way you enter the date is how you always enter the date so you will always enter it the same way. The display can be modified in any way you like. So again I'll just do one more example on this second cell here. Go back to format cells, go back to custom again. I'll delete out the existing type and this time I'll have the short version of the day. So 3Ds press the spacebar. You don't have to press spacebar, you can type anything you want to separate the uh, the values, but I prefer space. Uh, I'm going to type in a single D. So in this case if it was the first it would just say 1 rather than 0, 01. Space again and I'll have the full month, so I'm going to type in 4 M's this time for the full month. Space again, I'm going to have a short version of the year, so I'm going to type in 2 Y's and click OK. Now if I change that to a longer month, which I suppose um, August would be a good one as an example. So if I set it to the 3rd of August. So all I type in 3, 4 slash 8, press enter. And it, I get WED, short version of the day, 3. So there's a number for the date rather than having the leading 0. August is a full month and 11 is a shortened version of the year. So again, I'm entering the date the same way, but you choose exactly how you want it displayed. All right, now what I'm going to do is just finalize this bit of the spreadsheet by clicking on that first one, click my Format Painter, and click and drag down the other four dates, release the mouse, and I get to that standard format. And I'm also just going to click on the left alignment button there. Whoops, missed the first one. Left again, and then I'm just going to double click between the A and the B to default or fit the uh, column width to the widest entry in that column. And there we are. So any time I want to enter a date, so I'm going to revise that second one because I'm going to show Jaws in May, so I'll take it back to, well, 15th of May we'll say. So if I type in 154 slash 5, enter, we know that's on a Sunday, and so on. So that's how you enter and format dates. You have complete control. Um, have lots of fun working with that. And finally on this part of the uh, date tutorial I'm going to just show you how to enter the current date a couple of ways so if I just click in this cell up here D2 and just type in the word today I'm going to tab across very quick way of doing it is hold down the control key and press the semicolon key and it puts in today's date okay semicolon is the key to the right of the letter L on your keyboard press enter Okay, so if you look in the formula bar, it says 2504 2011, which is today. That's one way of doing it. Now, the thing is, tomorrow when I open the spreadsheet, it will still say 25th, 25th of April 2011, which I don't really want. I want, obviously, tomorrow when I open the spreadsheet, it to say the 26th of April and so on. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to delete that. There's a little formula you can use, and you type equals today and do an open and close parentheses or brackets if you like. So equal today, open close bracket, press enter and we get the same thing. The difference is that tomorrow when I open the spreadsheet that will say 26th of April and so on and so forth. 
That concludes this first look at dates. In the next video, uh, coming soon, we will be looking at how you can sequence dates using autofill, and we'll also begin to look at calculating with your dates as well. So um, thank you for watching this video, and see you next time.